Marilyn I. Walker Marilyn Isabel Walker was a Canadian fiber artist, author, teacher, and philanthropist. She was an active contributor to the arts and fine arts across Canada, and at Brock University in particular. Born in the Niagara Peninsula in southern Ontario, she was an influential figure in the region and supporter in the revitalization of the arts. In 2003, she wrote a book called Ontario's Heritage Quilts, which celebrated the work of Ontario quilters. In 2007, Marilyn Walker won the Mayor's Patron of the Arts Award by the City of St. Catharines for her contributions to the area. She curated the first Canadian Contemporary Quilt Competition and also won the International Women's Day Award in 2008. She delivered a speech to a majority but not exclusively female audience of 400 about determination in the face of adversity. In 2009, she received the Laura Savia Award, which recognizes a woman who has furthered the interest of arts in the community. Marilyn Walker is one of the most generous philanthropists in Canada. She has dedicated large amounts of time and resources to the revitalization of the arts in the Niagara. Her contributions to the Niagara region has greatly improved the quality of life for the residents in the areas of education, arts, and health. Walker's donation to Brock University comes at a time when the value of arts has been diminishing. However, the donation brings hope to the revitalization of the arts, especially in the Niagara region and St. Catharines. In 2009, she donated a total of $15 million to the development of the new Marilyn I. Walker School of Fine and Performing Arts in downtown St. Catharines. As Mayor Hazel McCallion of Mississauga, Walker died on October 1, 2015 at the age of 80. Textile Work Walker was known for her work in the textile industry, as well as her contribution to bringing the importance of textile work and quilts to the public. Marilyn was an authority on Canadian quilts and other textiles and lectured all around Canada and the United States on the artistic, historical, and significance of quilts. She was also the first president of the Niagara Quilters Association. Walker said in Quilting and in Life, People should be allowed freedom of speech and freedom of art. She wrote a book in 2003 entitled Ontario's Heritage Quilts, which celebrated the work of Ontario quilters. References